Here's a little feature I've found on Fusion 360. When you're exporting for 3D printing, we're generally told to export as an STL file. And uh, you'll be familiar with what that does. Uh, and then I was told it should be a 3MF file, which doesn't gain any quality. A um, bit more usable when you're putting it into other software and it carries a bit more information but still not gaining quality and the thing I found if you go to the 3d print menu what the standard things offer are medium only so on low quality preview the mesh on low quality there you could see 3000 polygons pretty rough. Now if you export through the other menu as I've just shown you you will get this quality, you'll get the medium quality. Same with the 3MF, the file's exactly the same. And I've, I've just saved all these, I will show you them all. If you go to high quality you get a much nicer, smoother shape. But then you can go next level. Go to custom quality, slide this normal deviation slider down to the far left and you get this far nicer quality going on and I'll show you the difference that makes in Cura so in Cura there that's the standard export menu version and here's a 3MF version where's it down there who's doing that to me there we go so you could see there the same quality nothing gained by using 3MF as many people say. Um, there's the low quality version from the 3D print menu, you can see that's pretty ropey. The medium quality version from the 3D print menu matches. So that's the quality you're getting by default without being asked. High quality version, look at that, looks much nicer, that's great. And then you can take it to next level with the custom level like I showed you and let's bring it into shot now look at the difference there medium quality easily visible ridges high quality probably good enough for most applications but custom quality you know, it's only a six meg file. It's you know we're talking. We've got terabytes of storage these days. The high high one there, six meg file. It's it's nothing. So improve your prints by making sure you use this 3D print function rather than the export function. Again, it's jumping back to crappy quality. Bring that slider down to the left. Beautiful. So I hope this helps get your uh, better quality prints. If it does, give us a like. I may do some more Fusion 360 videos. Um, little tips I've found. You know, they're not mainstream training stuff, and I'm not good enough to be. Uh, giving any lessons but they're just little things I've found as I'm fumbling my way through fusion. Thanks for watching.